Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today's video, as you read in the title, is called Stop Looking for a Wife and Start Looking for a Life. Um, I don't know if somebody has said this before, but I was just kind of like writing a little bit on my computer, as I tend to do, and for some reason this just popped into my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, okay, I either need to, one, make a t-shirt and sell this, or just make a video about it and, you know, that'd be fine too. So, you wonder how I come up with my video ideas. Literally, in this case, I had to either make a t-shirt or make a video, so here's the video. Now, for a little disclaimer, I'm going to explain what I mean by this, but just initially, don't be like, how dare you? How dare you even say I should look for a wife or a husband? You know what? I, you know, I'm not, I'm not speaking into your situation necessarily. I'm just simply going to bring this um, bring this idea forward to you and if it applies to your situation I encourage you to kind of you know take that in and be able to learn from that but if not if you're not in this kind of this doesn't relate to you totally cool all good so let's jump into it but first thank you so much to my patrons on patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting the work that I'm doing. And if you want to help support these, this ministry and the videos that I'm making and all the content, the blog posts throughout the week, uh, please head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. It'd be honestly a huge blessing if you can support what I'm doing. That would be awesome. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, now to our video today. I've been talking to quite a few guys that have questions online on Instagram and stuff like that, kind of asking, look, well, when is God going to bring the person that I'm supposed to marry? Like, I'm kind of anxious about it. I just kind of want to get in a relationship. Um, you know, I'm trying to find this person, but it, they don't seem to be, I don't seem to be able to find them or God doesn't seem to be bringing them to me. And it's kind of frustrating and I'm kind of like getting impatient in a way. So there's been a couple of these people I've been talking to. And this is just a sentiment that I've just been hearing among guys and I can get in this space too. Like, Hey God, what's up? Where's the, you know, where's the person? But what I think and what this kind of funny statement I think illustrates is this idea that look, God's timing. It doesn't illustrate all this. Obviously I'm extrapolating on this, but God's timing is perfect. Okay. And when we just get so consumed with one thing, like I got to find this person, like I got to find this, you know, girl or guy. And I got to just like, it, it's got to happen now. And I need this to work. And because I need, you know, whatever, whatever it is, I need a friend or I need this uh, romantic relationship, or I need to be able to post this on Instagram so my friends can get jealous or whatever. We're missing a piece. And that piece is look, you have all this time while you're single. Why don't you find a life before you find a wife? Why don't you, and by life, I mean, I'm not, that's not a mean thing. If you're sitting on your couch and you're just like, oh, I'm so bored, I wish I had a girlfriend. Like, let's start with, okay, let's get off your couch and let's do something. Let's serve in some way. Let's find hobbies. Let's find, you know, things that bring joy and enjoyment and, and help other people in your life. Like, how can we figure this thing out and really make your life full of not only just like, well, my life's kind of empty right now. I'm kind of lonely. I'm kind of sad. Oh, I'll just bring a girlfriend in or, uh, or a boyfriend and then I'll be happy and then that'll be great. Why don't we actually look at finding a life find hobbies, make friends, find areas that you're gifted in and be able to serve other people through those things and just be able to work on different things and family relationships and all that kind of stuff. And I think we can get in this space of tunnel vision, especially maybe you're, maybe you're 18, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, whatever it is. And maybe you're not ready to really go into a relationship with somebody. You're not ready for that next step of, of possibly marriage right after that. Like, if you're not ready for that, and there may, that might be a big possibility, then let's try to, instead of focusing, oh, when this is going to happen, oh, I can't wait until I'm in a relationship, or if I were just in a relationship, let's start broadening our horizons in a way, and just say, hey, let's, let me find a life before I find a wife. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. I thought it was kind of a funny saying, but actually it has some good truth to it. Um, and I think it can kind of maybe reorient our perspective a little bit to, yeah, it's not just all about that one relationship. Because when you do get married, as I've heard from many married people or people in relationships, like, yes, that is your main thing. That's the main thing you're focused on for, for a long time. And then you're kind of like, okay, well, this is not that you're not paying attention to your relationship, but you realize there's so many other things going on. There's, there's 
you know career there's you know service in areas there's church there's all these different areas of life where you become a more well-rounded person and you continue to grow in those areas it's not like you get married and you're like well i'm done i can die now like there's so much more living to do so why are we like cutting ourselves off in this beginning stage and not being able to actually find a life make friends you know be able to pursue different creative pursuits or whatever it is like that's an awesome time so that's what i want to encourage you guys towards stop looking for a, a i'm getting confused now stop looking for a wife and start looking for a life i i, I don't know i'm gonna let me know if you want that on a t-shirt let me just kind of share another disclaimer here maybe you are at the stage where you have found a life and you're kind of at that next stage of kind of hey i want to get married and that's cool and that's awesome that you're there and that you're looking for that just be aware that look just because art we're ready just because it fits into our timing doesn't mean god's like oh okay you've done all the things that you wanted to accomplish or you wanted to do before you got married now i'm just gonna slide in this person to give you to marry like god doesn't work that way even though we'd like him to but that's just going to continue to grow us and really uh, develop in us uh, a lot of character because when we are just getting everything we want when god's just like you know oh you want this well i guess you give you that it's like a parent giving to a child everything that they want that child is going to become spoiled and whiny and wah, God, wah, wah. like it's kind of funny to think about that way but but it's true when god doesn't give us what we want we grow and we mature and we say okay look, look god i'm going to trust you that you know best that that your timing is perfect and that's going to mature us so whatever stage you're at whether you're i, I want to get married right now and i'm actually ready for it or i want to get you know in a relationship now and i'm not quite there i think this is something important to remember okay well let me know what you think in the comments down below this is kind of a funny video but i hope you got something out of it as well um, once again, thanks so much to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to join them, link in bio. Um, you get all sorts of exclusive content. And um, yeah, leave me a comment down below. As I said, with some of your thoughts about this, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the YouTube channel because we're putting out new videos all the time, Mondays and Thursdays. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. See ya. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Isaac. And today's video is called, um, as you read in the title, Stop. Uh, I can't even remember what it's called.